Hello there everybody what is going on my name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video regarding semantic UI and actually this is the start of the chapter number two and what what we are going to be requiring for this little chapter over here is the core concept of JavaScript now if you guys don't know what uh, oh, how, how the JavaScript really works you can simply just go ahead and use jQuery if you want there are so many tutorials have a label up on the internet I don't really want to go through the jQuery stuff so I, I'll not be going through that stuff but we're gonna be going getting right into the code I'm just gonna be setting up this project for the JavaScript files now if you have been on the semantic UI website and you have clicked on menu you might have seen this little section named as modules now basically when you click on one of these sections let's just say drop down that I said you not to use when you are when uh, we were uh, checking out the form uh, form collection but uh, I told you not to use it because it requires Java, some sort of JavaScript because you know basically it requires uh, see this kind of drop down and when you just go ahead and create a drop down it doesn't really work the way you really want it to be uh, it works in somewhat this way which you don't really want it to be like and as soon as you go ahead and put some JavaScript into it it just turns it into the magical thing that is gonna make it way more smooth than ever so obviously I'm I'm gonna be going ahead and setting up this project JavaScript ready because our project is still not JavaScript ready if we'll be putting any JavaScript code like this obviously it is gonna give me some errors like dollar is not found it is not it has actually it won't show me errors up on the screen but in the console if you don't know what exactly console is as soon as you press F12 you see this little console right over here and there are a few errors in this way so obviously I have add blocker in that so that's why there's just one error uh, and that's that, that just random error so I don't really care about that error and basically you know I can simply just go ahead and create these kind of effects if I use JavaScript because it is not possible to do this kind of effects with the help of pure HTML and CSS actually it might be possible nowadays but you know I feel it is quite absurd to use in that way because it is gonna reduce your uh, web page performance uh, I guess but you know this code makes it way more easy for you to go ahead and check it out so you know with the help of this drop down we are gonna be creating these all things and I'll be creating one for every single section and I guess the longest video for this section will be about search because obviously I'm gonna be getting into the complete deep things about the search in here because search is a kind of thing that you know as soon as you type it it should not complete it it should know what exactly the user wants to type it should just predict the user next searches and obviously uh, we are gonna be taking a look at all of those kind of things so obviously search is going to be the biggest video in this little chapter uh, chapter number second and in the next chapter obviously we are gonna be talking about the advanced level stuff like node.js and we are gonna be creating a website obviously I told you guys that a lot of times so without any further ado let's just get right into this code so I just went to CD and JS I'll be putting this link in the description box below so you know just go over there and select this minified file now you can go ahead and select this file but obviously it is a much larger file if you are considering that instead of the minified file so obviously I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this little line of code uh, line of URL and obviously I'm I, I'm left, I left it at the previous point where we left it uh, I guess I repeated that word just two times uh, so I'm just gonna delete it right over here and I'm going to go ahead and create in a script source equals this well actually it should be in double quotation marks and yep there we go so now we have link semantic.min.js but obviously semantic.min.js has a dependency of jQuery so we need to go to cdnjs again obviously you can use you can go to the jQuery website and pretty much just click on that link for the max cdn for from the google cdn microsoft cdn but i believe mostly in cdnjs or js deliver but uh, so for this I'm just gonna be uh, getting it 
uh, 3.1.0 and just be sure when you are typing this little uh, line of uh, this little URL it should be above the semantic.min.js because I'll be t I'll be explaining that to you in a second so let's just go ahead and put it right over here now the reason why I told you it should be upside instead of being a downside of the semantic.min.js is mostly because semantic.min.js has a dependency of jQuery. Now if jQuery is not found, it just gives you the console error of dollar symbol has not been found and it, it actually doesn't know what exactly dollar is whereas jQuery defines what exactly dollar is and it just gives it everything that it needs for the semantic.min.js now if you go ahead and take a look at semantic.min.js or let's just say semantic.js I'm gonna go to that little file right, right over there if you go ahead and take a look at it you can see it right after clicking on it that dollar is being used every single time you know there are so many models obviously you don't need to go through this JavaScript code because JavaScript is one of these languages which I believe is most powerful language even more powerful than Java and you know several other languages combined even including PHP Java Ruby and maybe I'm pronouncing some of these wrong but obviously this is more powerful language than that you don't need to go through all of this code because you it would just jumble your mind so this dollar symbol you should just remember because this kind of symbol is going to be used every single where dollar dot fn dot form well obviously the jQuery is required for every single thing of this and obviously I do require this thing so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up that file so let me just go to the I guess it's new volume F semantic UI index and as soon as it opens it is gonna take a little bit of time to load because we are taking it all from CDN if you are taking it from the local library which we are set up which we are gonna be setting up in the next chapter when I'll be telling you about the node.js uh, but for this you know let's just go ahead and clear up that there are no errors and now I'm just gonna check whether the errors are going to be there if I go ahead and put that downside so obviously you can see the jQuery is not defined and it is right on the line number 11 that is uh, actually in the actual line of code it is going to be the way more or less so obviously be sure that your jQuery.min.css is linked right before semantic.min.js so you know you, you, you are out of the errors so you can see it right over here all the errors are cleared now so obviously this is going to be it for today's video and you know be sure to remember that jQuery should come before semantic.main.js because that is one of the most important files in this entire project so thank you guys so much for watching and if you love this video just go ahead and slap that like button and stay tuned for the next one just go ahead and hit, hit that subscribe button downside and peace out